Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back again to Chakra Energy Readings. I am doing something different this week. We are now going to look at uh, Chakra Wisdom cards. This is kind of going to be a what are you feeling, what are you going through episode. Um, we're going to pull three cards. You can choose a pile of cards to see which one um, the Ancestor Spirit guys uh, Mother Earth or our higher God of Source wants to um, tell you. Um, so we're going to do this a little different, see if we can get you a specific message um, just for you. So let me just see what I got going on here. I'm just going to pull. You see, I'm just going to kind of do so i'm gonna do three while i'm shuffling you be thinking of which three that you want to come out um which three or you think which one one two three which one that is going to benefit you all right so there we go one two three that's a big mess ain't it but I like to be random. That way, know that way we know it is definitely coming from the ancestors and the spirit guides and God, Mother Earth. The messages are purely coming from them, and I have no place in it. All right, so let me get my glasses on like an old lady, and let's see what we got going here. All right, so we have three cards out again. Power one, um, option one, option two, option three. So if you chose option one, your card is dealing with the first chakra, base chakra. And your message is building a strong foundation. You create stability and security by adequately providing yourself with the basic needs of a healthy life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. You use your creativity to build a strong foundation, as this is an essential key to your survival and growth. The more inner and outer stability you have, the more grounded and fulfilling your life will become. Respect yourself and take care of your physical body by nourishing and nurturing it. Your body tells you what it needs. Again, so if that was your car, that is the first chakra, base chakra. Um, someone is building a strong foundation, possibly starting a new. Uh, maybe you are nervous in this. Maybe this is giving you some anxiety. Maybe there's stress variation there but this message here should uh confirm that god is with you and on your side and building a strong foundation remember that your inner and outer stability is more grounded and fulfilling in the life with the life within the life that will become the more inner and outer stability you have the more grounded and fulfilling your life will become so make sure you get that inner stability and outer stability make sure you're taking care of those chakras your inner energy make sure you're putting out positive energy in order for your outer to be positive in order for this new foundation that you're building <coughs> to be the best that it has ever been all right so let's move on to card number two which is the second chakra sacral chakra sexuality all right now it says you honor and respect your sexuality and allow the natural flow of your feelings you acknowledge that your sensual thoughts and feelings will arise and you release unnecessary guilt regarding sex you are open to the positive sensual feelings coming to you from others at the same time you keep your sexual activities well directed and in balance okay so this card is giving me the energy of someone is dealing with a um possibly a new sexual partner maybe they feel strongly about this partner maybe they feel a little 
tangled, tied, whipped, I don't want to say that, but okay, maybe they are feeling fulfilled by this partner and it is causing them to be maybe a little insecure about themselves, but it is okay um, to acknowledge that your sexual thoughts and feelings can arise, but to release unnecessary guilt regarding sex. It's okay. Everything is fine. Everything um, should go with the natural flow of your feelings. Allow yourself to be open. Allow yourself to release. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to love. Allow yourself to care and um, live in that sensuality, sexuality that you're currently in. Yay for you. All right. And lastly, we have here the fifth chakra, throat chakra, expressing your feelings. Wow, it says, you allow your emotions to be fully experienced. You acknowledge feelings of grief, anger, and fear, and make a conscious effort to express your emotions or resolve them without yourself, without, I'm sorry, Make a conscious effort to express your emotions or resolve them within yourself so that you can move forward freely. Let the unconditional love that you experience in your heart be expressed through your voice and your creativity. Let those close to you know how much you love and care for them. Forgive all those who have done you wrong in the past as well as forgiving yourself as you could not have responded in a more evolved way as you are able to do at the time. So this person here is learning how to express their feelings. There is a lot of people that quite don't know, quite don't understand the way to communicate positive, um, to communicate in a way that uplifts others, to communicate in a way that uplifts themselves they talk so negative either about themselves or negative about them about others um, which in turn is a projection of themselves so a lot of people don't know how to truly express their feelings this card is saying use the um, emotions that you experience to fully acknowledge your grief anger and fear and make a conscious effort to express those emotions or resolve them within yourself so you can move forward freely. So this person is doing the work. They understand that they are there um, expressing feelings and in the uh, mode of trying to express in a positive nature. Keep going, you're doing, pos you're doing good work and the ancestors and spirit guides are with you. Again, thank you for tuning in to this new way of reading Chakra Wisdom Cards. I hope you have enjoyed this. I will talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.